May 1st, 2021, a powerful tornado rampaged through the city of Makinohara, Shizuoka Prefecture. Utility poles were wrenched from their moorings. The rotational pull of the storm sucked up plastic greenhouses and destroyed or damaged 91 buildings, littering the city's famed tea gardens with debris. Flying glass injured three residents and many homes suffered superficial damage. At its height, the tornado reached a wind velocity of 198 kilometers per hour, or 123 miles per hour, earning the storm an EF2 rating on the enhanced Fujita scale, indicating considerable damage. In other words, the tornado possessed the power to lift cars, utterly destroy wooden buildings, and shift the foundations of frame homes. Thankfully, no lives were lost in the storm. Indeed, few ever perish in Japan's more frequent than you'd think, but generally weak, tornadic events. Japan is known for many things. Technology, a globally beloved pop culture, incredible cuisine, a once isolated and militant history. Also prominent in global imagination is Japan's status as a magnet for natural disasters. Sitting atop the Ring of Fire, the country experiences over 2,000 earthquakes annually, more than any other country. Now, most of these are small enough to be confused for a large truck driving nearby, but many are considerably larger. Relatedly, earthquake-borne tsunamis devastated Japan's coast. In 2011, a single earthquake tsunami event caused the death of over 20,000 people in the northern Tohoku region. Volcanoes belch magma and send columns of smoke miles into the atmosphere. On the weather front, torrential rains can cause disastrous landslides and flooding. Japan is a land that has been shaped, both geographically and culturally, by disaster. However, one form of disaster is conspicuously missing from Japan's pantheon of calamity-bringing phenomena. Tornadoes, the very symbol of dangerous weather in large swaths of North America, seem not to be very associated with Japan. True, isolated cyclonic events happen on the Japanese archipelago at rates far lower than in the infamously tornadic USA. Yet, as this year's destructive storm in Makinohara demonstrates, tornadoes do very much occur in Japan. Konnichiwa minasan and welcome back to Unseen Japan. As always, I'm Noah Asuka, and today we're bringing you a quick episode on an intriguing but often overlooked aspect of natural disaster in Japan. I thought it'd be good to get out something interesting but comparatively quick in between putting together our final episode in our ongoing series on the history of the Japanese Red Army. So hope you enjoy, and if you like this one, consider checking out my more in-depth video on Japan's worst modern volcanic disaster. Also, consider giving us a like and subscribing for more, and maybe giving us some support over on Patreon. And for that matter, sticking around for our patron question of the episode during the credits. I promise this one will be a doggone good time. Woof. Uh, already, let's rotate on back to the story of tornadoes in Japan. The phrase in Japanese equivalent to the English tornado is Tatsumaki, literally, winding dragon. In Japan, the word can refer to both landbound tornadoes and waterspouts, which form over bodies of water. According to Gujisho, the term Tatsumaki derives from the latter. Waterspouts seen sucking water into the sky resemble dragons climbing towards the heavens. On average, Japan experiences 20 to 25 observed tornadoes a year. This data point is just an average, however. Like most places on Earth that experience tornadoes, the number of occurrences in any given year can vary greatly. Around half of the country's tornadoes happen between July and October, and most occur near coastal areas. Around 15% are water spout, and a further 20% of tornadoes in Japan are associated with the typhoons that buffet the archipelago each year. In 1979, a single typhoon generated 11 separate tornadoes. These 20-ish annual tempests are a mere fraction of the US's massive 1,000 plus tornado count. Even adjusted for just how much larger the USA is compared to Japan, with the US being around 26 times the landmass, Japan still has less than half as many tornadoes per area. 
And unlike the US, where tornadoes can reach up to 2.5 miles in length and destroy whole cities, Japan has never officially recorded a tornado worthy of an F4 rating or higher. On the whole, Japanese tornadoes are usually on the ground for half the length of their US counterparts, 3.2 kilometers versus 7.1. Comparisons to the US, however, can be misleading. The USA is the tornado magnet of the world. Few areas on Earth can compare to its deadly tornado alley, although Bangladesh is home to the most deadly tornado in history. Japan, however, is still one of the planet's relatively few regions that regularly experiences tornadic storms. The global tornado zones go as follows. An area that extends through southern Canada, the vastness of the US, and down to northern Mexico is the world's most active region for tornado strikes. South America in turn has its own tornado alley, focused around Uruguay and north central Argentina. Across the Atlantic, the majority of Europe save Iberia and the Balkans is subject to tornadoes big and small, around 700 occur per year. Southern Africa is another site for regular tornadoes, mostly in the region around South Africa. Australia and New Zealand also experience their fair share. In the vastness of Asia, only a few regions experience regular tornadic activity, a long strip running from northern Pakistan through India and covering Nepal and Bangladesh sees the most, and the most deadly. Bangladesh has more annual deaths from tornadoes than any other country, at over 100 per year. China's east coast sees hundreds of tornadic storms. A single tornado in 2016 killed at least 98 people and injured over 800 in the farms and factories of Jiangsu province. South Korea and the Philippines are also subject to the threat of the funnel. This leaves Japan as the last remaining major site of tornadic threat. Despite the many regions here mentioned, the vast majority of Earth's surface does not regularly experience tornadoes. Japan is one of only 12 major regions to do so. While tornadoes here are far from the powerhouses of America's central plains, they do still occur, and they do still take lives. On November 7, 2006, a tornado touched down in the Hokkaido town of Saroma, near the Sea of Ohotsk. The tornado, a comparatively weak F3, was still fierce enough to throw cars small distances and rip the roofs off of stable houses. However, it was as it approached a tunnel building project that the destructive storm turned deadly. The tornado, not strong enough to completely destroy most permanent structures, still made easy work of the prefab housing on site for the tunnel workers. Twenty were buried under the debris that moments prior had been their housing. Nine people perished in what became the deadliest tornado strike since the Japan Meteorological Agency began tracking tornado deaths in 1961. There had been more deadly tornadoes prior to 1961. Twelve died in the 1941 storm in Toyohashi Aichi Prefecture. The largest tornado death toll in Japanese history occurred in the 1880s, when a tornadic funnel made direct contact with an elementary school in Miyazaki Prefecture, killing 16. In the case of the Saroma storm, however, the location was itself cause for surprise. Hokkaido, even less so than the rest of Japan, is not known for tornadoes. Indeed, occurrence rates vary greatly from prefecture to prefecture in Japan. The most tornadic of Japan's 47 local governments is Okinawa, on the exact opposite north-south axis from Hokkaido. Two other areas that experience more than their fair share of tornadic storms are Miyazaki and Kochi prefectures, both far to the south of Hokkaido. In general, the closer to the sea, the more danger tornadoes present in Japan. Prefectures that experience more tornadoes often do so primarily in their own coastal regions, with water spouts that spawn out to sea sometimes even making landfall. Outlying islands can be in more danger than prefectural mainlands. Tokyo Prefecture has experienced more tornado damage than almost any other prefecture, but the lion's share of that statistic relies on tornadoes that have struck the Izu and Okasawara Islands. Technically part of the capital prefecture, these island chains lie far out to sea. The Ogasawaras in particular are some 1,000 kilometers south of Tokyo proper. So what does the average person in Japan think about tornadoes? To find out, I conducted a short interview with a Japanese national to whom I am personally close. While one person is a small sample size, I feel her opinions reflect those I've heard from other Japanese friends, co-workers, and acquaintances. 
So how often would you say that you think about tornadoes? In Japan, never. In the U.S., many times. Let's think about some other forms of natural disasters. How scared are you of earthquakes on a scale from 1 to 10? 10. We always talk about the big one. They are saying it's going to come one day. Also, after living in Europe, even small earthquakes back in Japan started to freak me out a bit more. Alright, so how about tsunami? How much fear do you hold towards them? Depends on where you live. If you live near the ocean, I guess they are 10. Inland, you don't worry too much about them. And lastly, what about tornadoes? I mean, if I take the time to think about them, they are scary. But I never think about them. So if I was to say I'm scared of them, it's a more of a fear of the unknown. Although tornadoes remain a background worry at most for the majority in Japan, they have been gaining more media and scientific attention in recent years. A spate of damaging and destructive tornadic storms from 2005 onwards jumpstarted a greater local awareness of the potential dangers such occurrences entail. In particular, 2005 saw a deadly train derailment caused by a tornado in Sakata City, Yamagata Prefecture. All six cars of a train on the Jaruetsu line derailed. Five passengers died in the event, with 32 others sustaining injury. Together with the Saroma Hokkaido tornado, the Sakata derailment helped foster a greater appreciation for how dangerous tornadic events can be. Since 2005, the Japanese media now reports on essentially every tornado in the country, whether deadly or not. The Japan Meteorological Agency, which previously only tracked damage-causing tornadoes, now collects data on all tornadic events. More thought is being put into how to build structures that are resistant not only to the major threat of earthquakes, but also to meteorological events that produce powerful wind. Still, tornadoes remain rightfully far from the forefront of one's mind when considering the dangers inherent to life in Japan. While climate change is continuing to make weather more erratic, producing stronger and more frequent typhoons, which themselves bring the risk of tornado, the likelihood of actually seeing a swirling mass of wind and cloud descend from the heavens remains low on the islands of Japan. Personally, I hail from Minnesota, an area which is just barely part of Tornado Alley in the United States, and despite numerous times having been under Tornado Watch and Tornado Warning and having been very close to places where tornadoes have hit, I have personally never actually seen a tornado in action. If the danger in Minnesota is comparatively great, and I've never encountered one, the likelihood in Japan is even less so. Yet, tornadoes do indeed occur on the archipelago, but Japan remains far from being the tornado alley of East Asia. Alright everyone, thanks for watching this shorter episode. I actually got interested in this topic while watching some other fantastic videos here on YouTube, specifically those on the storms by the singularly talented and danger-defying Pekos Hank, and started wondering about Japanese tornadoes as a result. I knew they occurred from time to time, but I wanted to go a little bit deeper. Alright, so on to our patron question of the episode, which comes from Catherine, who asks, I know the Shiba Inu is the most popular of the native Japanese dog breeds, but what dog breed from anywhere in the world is most popular for dog owners in Japan? A good question, Catherine. I know I personally have seen many a Shiba, Akita, Corgi, and even a few Great Danes being walked around the streets of Japan in my day, but to go a bit deeper, I took a look at an article on Mina no Pet Life which sampled over 170,000 completed contracts from the major dog industry site Mina no Breeder. In terms of direct sales by breeders in Japan, the reigning champion for 2021 was, drumroll please, the Toy Poodle. In fact, the curly-haired little breed has actually held the title of most popular purebred in Japan for a whopping 13 years in a row, according to the Japan Kennel Club. Toy Poodles are friendly, calm, and obedient, not to mention tiny a pretty fitting dog for small Japanese homes, literally. And a good choice for a country where barking dogs aren't well tolerated by neighbors only a thin apartment wall away. Number two is the even smaller Chihuahua, something I admit to being a little bit shocked by because I can't remember seeing that many of them in Japan. 
Number 3 is the venerable and irascible Shiba Inu, which is also physically the largest of the most popular breeds. Despite not being that big of a dog, I think that says something here. Also, I have to mention French Bulldogs at number 5, mostly so I can add this picture of my family's own beloved, Oula. Alright, hope that was interesting, Catherine. And thank you for your support. If anyone out there would like to ask your own question for us to answer in an upcoming video, you're in luck because you can by becoming a UJ patron member. Our entire operation exists thanks to the support of our patron members, who we can't thank enough. Link to our patron is below. I'll be back soon with more Japanese history, culture, and more, so keep a weather eye on the horizon and watch out for the telltale signs of tornadic rotation. Keep safe! And be seeing you soon. Odaijini and Matane. So, if I was to say I'm scared of them, <laughs> Dayo. What the?